Hello everybody, welcome back. We are gonna be doing another We Have Food at Home video. <laughs> I apologize in advance. I'm a little bit hoarse. I'm better from the Rona, but I'm a little bit hoarse, so ignore this. But we're just vibing with it. Woo! I started this new series and it's the We've Got Food at Home series where we're gonna make copycat recipes of popular restaurant foods. Today, we're doing Taco Bell. We're gonna do two Taco Bell popular foods. One, we're gonna do some nacho fries. I love their nacho fries, but they take them away all the time. Like, just leave them Taco Bell, just leave them. But they take them away. So we're gonna make some copycat nacho fries with the cheese dip. Our second Taco Bell copycat recipe is gonna be their chicken quesadilla. Now, I was thinking about doing the crunch wrap because it's really popular, but I think everybody knows how to do the crunch wrap by now. Plus, they have the kits at Walmart. So we're gonna do their chicken quesadilla. Let's go. For the nacho fries, you're gonna need french fries. <laughs> the regular cut is what Taco Bell uses, so that's what I'm gonna use. And we are gonna create our own seasoning, and I'm gonna show you that along the way. So let's go make some french fries. Taco Bell does fry theirs in oil, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm heating up some oil right here. I'm cooking up our fries in small batches because I don't want to over, I don't want to overwhelm the oil, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, and now while these are doing their thing, we're going to start mixing up the seasoning. First, we're going to need two teaspoons of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan because that's what's in my salt container right now. Next, two tablespoons of paprika. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. Two teaspoons of chili powder. If you want yours a little bit more spicy, you can add like a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne, but we don't do that kind of spice here. The kids would not eat it if I did. Ryder would, but the other two wouldn't. And this is our seasoning blend. Go ahead and call these done. I'm gonna put these on a paper towel to let them drain as I cook the next batch of fries. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I think these are done. We're gonna let them drain on this paper towel as well. I'm gonna let these finish cooling a little bit and draining completely on that towel. And while this is doing its thing, we're gonna start the cheese sauce. Now turn your heat to low so we don't burn, okay? Go in with a half a cup of milk. Around about a tablespoon of the juice of the jalapeno peppers. Then we are going to take slices, yes, slices of American cheese. Approximately eight ounces of American cheese. And we're just going to put this in here. And we are going to slowly melt it together. Just going to start melting this up together. And this is going to be our Taco Bell cheese sauce. Now, if you want yours thinner, you can add a little bit more milk. If you want it a little bit thicker, you can add more cheese. You can customize this any way you want. It's not like Taco Bell where you get what you get. You can do whatever you want with it. I think I want mine a little bit thicker, actually. I'm going to use a little bit more cheese. 
I'm going in with five more slices of American cheese. Let's see what that looks like. My it smells just like Taco Bell cheese. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call this done. It looks pretty melted up to me. Turn that heat off. And remove it from the heat so we don't burn. Look at that. Okay, let's go back over here to these french fries. They're pretty drained on that paper towel. I'm going to take the paper towel out. And we're just going to start shaking. The seasoning mix that we made on top. You can season it however much you want, how little you want, whatever you prefer. Make sure everything gets coated. The kids are hovering over me, y'all. What do you guys think I copycatted tonight? Nacho fries. Nacho fries. Look, I even... You made the cheese sauce. I made the cheese sauce. And here we go. Copycat, Taco Bell, nacho sauce, and nacho fries. What do you guys think? You think it looks like it? Braden seen my bowl of cheese sauce, and he said, oh, you don't skip out on the cheese sauce. I think it looks pretty similar to me. I'm just saying. We have the nacho fries and cheese sauce. Bray. Do you think, oh. That cheese sauce. Okay, ready? Get that. Oh. It's not identical, but it's a close second. It's very, very good though. Um, the sauce I think needs a little bit more jalapeno, and it would be perfect. That's what isn't. Mm. That's what doesn't make the cheese sauce absolutely just like Taco Bell. Right. But that's a good coffee cap. He looks like my dad. It's really good. That's delicious. It does need more jalapeno. Though. It needs more jalapeno in that cheese sauce. And then I think it'll be identical. I'm actually going to go ahead and add more to that cheese sauce just to see what we have. I put another tablespoon in that big batch of cheese sauce. Let's see if that's a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty good. Two tablespoons of the jalapeno juice instead. And it's more like Taco Bell. Definitely. It's absolutely amazing. I could eat this forever. And if you wanted to, you could get the canned nacho cheese sauce at Walmart. It's like $3 for a can. Shortcut way, I think I have some of that. I have some of this in the cabinet. We're gonna crack it open, heat it up, and we're gonna see if this is a shortcut way to have nacho cheese fries at your house. And you don't have to buy the cheese, the milk, the jalapeno juice. You can buy this $3 can of nacho cheese sauce. A lot cheaper. I have heated up that canned gourmet nacho cheese sauce. This could be a better way, a shortcut way. Yeah. I like the homemade more. You do? I like yeah. the homemade more. Okay. Well, the homemade better. I think this tastes similar to the homemade. If I was craving nacho fries, I would do the homemade instead of this. But this is still good, and it's a great shortcut way, especially when you don't feel like cooking, but you don't want to go out to eat. Definitely an easy way to get nacho fries at home. Let's talk about price point. For the nacho fries, I'm going to go ahead and price a packet of taco seasoning along with the ingredients that I use because not everybody might have those seasonings in your pantry. But I use such minimal seasonings that I can't justify pricing it as the whole container. Do you see? So I'm just going to price that at the price of a packet of taco seasoning mix. So this was my total that I spent at Walmart for the ingredients for the nacho cheese fry. And I am gonna process it with the can of nacho cheese sauce.
because that is a lot simpler and I'm sure everybody would prefer to do that instead of make your own, or at least a lot of people would. So that's what I'm going to price it as. A pack of regular cut french fries were $2.82. Taco seasoning, $0.57. Cents. And if you get the Rico's Gourmet Nacho Cheddar Cheese, that is $3.38, bringing my at-home total to $6.77. Now let's take a look at the Taco Bell price. We had five large, heaping large orders of nacho fries and... We got one bowl of cheese a piece, plus we each filled up an extra bowl of cheese. So, I'm going to price this Taco Bell at five large orders of nacho fries with five extra cups of cheese. Five large orders of nacho fries, $16.45. Five extra cups of nacho cheese sauce, $4.25, bringing my total to $20.70. That is a savings of $13.93 by making my nacho fries at home. That was delicious. Now let's make the Taco Bell copycat chicken quesadilla. Taco Bell has these giant chicken quesadillas and they put a creamy jalapeno sauce on it. And I looked up the way to home make this. And the ingredients in this homemade creamy jalapeno sauce was the same ingredients in their homemade chipotle sauce. So I bought the chipotle sauce that Taco Bell uses. I wanted to make sure that I got this right. And I seen that I thought the sauce was chipotle the whole time. And when I looked up on their app to see what it was it said creamy jalapeno and i was like oh that's odd so i looked up you know how i could home make this and i also looked up how i could home make the chipotle and it was the same it was the same so i'm just using this we're going to use some taco bell chipotle sauce some sharp cheddar cheese you do some nice flour tortillas now, with the chicken, you can either do a shortcut way or a not-so-shortcut way. We're going to do both. These chicken pieces, you just heat up for about five minutes on the stove top. Wham, bam, it's done. It's already seasoned. It is so easy. It, it is great for one of those days you don't feel like cooking, but you don't want to go out to eat as well, so you have this. But if you don't have these or you don't have access to this, you can't find it on a good sale. You can just use regular chicken, any kind of chicken you have, thighs. I want to be using breast. So I have some breast sitting over here that we're going to dice up, season up, and we're going to cook it. So let's go. I have two small chicken breasts here, and I'm going to cut them up. Cut the egg off of it. I really don't like <laughs> the icky pieces. A little bit frozen, but it's okay. I've already used this pan to heat up that shortcut chicken. That's why it looks like that. <laughs> I'm throwing in a little bit of oil. Let's toss in that chicken we just cut up. We're just going to season this up very basic. Because Taco Bell does not put a lot of seasonings in their chicken. So I'm just going to throw in some salt. Some pepper. Another pinch of salt. A little, a little shake of paprika. Just a little. Garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. That is it. That's all I'm putting in this. Over here, I have that cooked chicken breast that we cut up. There's two small chicken breasts here. Here, I have the heated up Purdue shortcuts. We have eight burrito flour tortillas, some sharp cheddar cheese, and that Taco Bell Chipotle. Let's start making those quesadillas. For the Taco Bell quesadillas, I think they use tortillas that are a little bit bigger than the burrito size, but considering how much little they put inside i think 
that we can go ahead and price these the same as those that they have on their app because they do not really put anything on the inside of these tortillas. When they make their quesadillas, it is so sparse. You get a bite of chicken here and there. So I think our filling makes up for the one inch left size of tortilla. Started out with a little bit of chatter. We're gonna put as much chipotle as you want. That's the best thing about these copycat recipes. You can customize. And we're gonna throw in some chicken. A heck of a lot more chicken than Taco Bell gives. Okay, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more cheese to close it up. Woo, baby, look at you already cooking. So fast to make these, it's so fast. Boom. Let's just repeat the same thing. A little bit of cheese. Chipotle. Some of that chicken. Just like good old Taco Bell. <laughs> look at that. Does that not look awesome? Okay, y'all. I made a total of eight filled quesadillas. I did not skimp on the cheese, the sauce, the chicken. They are filled. Yeah. I made eight of these babies. Let's see if they taste like Taco Bell chicken quesadillas. I'm going to go first. Yep, it does. Exactly. Oh, my. Mm. I think you made a lot of them. I did make a lot of them. I made over eight in their cubes. Okay. Let them know if it's good or if it's bad. Yeah, they give me. It's very good. It's very good. Does it taste like the Taco Bell chicken quesadillas? It, exactly. Mm. Colin fainted in the floor, y'all. Good. <laughs> Brayden's here to do the taste test on the quesadillas. How we feel? Mm. Oh, they're good. Is it as good or is it kind of like, what do you think uh, compared to Taco Bell? I like Taco Bell's. They're good. Thanks. Let's talk about price points with the chicken quesadillas. Now, like I said before, the burrito tortillas, they are about an inch smaller than the ones that Taco Bell uses. But Taco Bell skips so much on the chicken and the cheese and the sauce that I made up for it with the filling. I really think I did. So I'm going to, and I made eight. I made eight total quesadillas. So I'm going to price everything that I used from Walmart here. Those large tortillas, $2.08. A bag of cheese, $1.97. Now, with the chicken, I went ahead and priced it with a big pack of chicken. I only used two chicken breasts plus the Purdue shortcuts, but that's not fair for me to price it that way. So, I priced it at the price of a large pack of chicken breast at $11.35. And the Chipotle sauce was $1.98. That brings my total out of pocket for at-home Taco Bell quesadillas $17.38. Now I'm going to price eight chicken quesadillas for Taco Bell here. Hold on to your britches y'all. Eight quesadillas, chicken quesadillas at Taco Bell $43.12.
insane. That is a savings of $25.74 if you make them at home. That savings is insane, y'all. And this is just as good, if not better. Especially that cheese sauce. That cheese sauce is killer. It is so good. Now, next time you don't feel like cooking and you think you want to go out to eat or whatever, whenever you are craving some Taco Bell but you don't want to go out to eat, you can make this instead and save a ton of money, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this new series that I'm doing. I love it. I think it is so fun. I will see you guys next video. Remember, as always, be positive and be kind and be happy and let others be happy. I will see you later, Taters. Bye.